Hey everybody, it's another edition of Joe Wednesdays. How we doing? What's new? I'm probably going to do a shorter, more straightforward uh, video today. Won't have any of the edited bells and whistles today. Um, uh, I've been a little busy this week. Um, I got absolutely slammed at work. Um, we got a project that got... We were expecting kind of a small revision uh, from the client or architect, and it ended up being a pretty significant change to the site to the point that I had to like regrade the whole half of it and then we had to redo all the storm calcs and the tension all the a whole nine yards and you know it, but it still needed to be done before Christmas break so ugh. <laughs> of course you know it gets uh you know slammed uh before the holidays I don't get why people do um holiday deadlines it doesn't make much sense to me um Mostly because it's like, who's going to look at it before they get back from their Christmas breaks or, you know, even New Year's breaks? Like, who's going to look at it? So why bother having it done? But, oh well. That's what we said we we're going to do, and that's what I aim to get done, and that's why I finished. So. But it's over and done, and now I'm off. So it's, uh, you know, all the vacation time that I really didn't get to use this year is being used up for the rest of the rest of the year. So I'm not, uh, I don't have anything going on for the rest of this week. I won't have anything going on next week. So hopefully I can just take some time and relax because, oh my God. <laughs> um, I don't know if this is like an official, like older person step or something like that, but I found myself doing a lot of cleaning once I was done with work today. Um... It just, it just, uh, it, it's, it's amazing how much your house can go into disarray once you, when you're so bogged down with like work and busy stuff that you don't have the time to do it normally. Um, but yeah, it's like, you know, dishes and laundry needed done and there was like, you know, stuff all over the floor, mostly Lydia's, but you know, it's, uh, I mean, oh my goodness, like, anyway, I think I'm getting off my own point, but <laughs> I basically, um, like I just started like picking up everything, cleaning everything, just like naturally, and it, it felt it felt good. It felt good to do it. It wasn't just like a chore. So, <laughs> so I think I think that's an official older person step right there. Um, <laughs> let's see what else. Uh, so my car is back with the uh, with the uh, mechanic. Um, last week I took it in. They couldn't find a leak, but they put dye in it. And then this week, after I had driven enough, I took it back into them, and they were able to find where the leak was coming from. So the bad news was it's something that they've already fixed before, but the the good news is that um, since, like, they were sitting there saying, since we, you know, it's, it's a part malfunctioning, and it was something that we put in before, we can't really, um, we can't really, like, they charge you for it if it's if it's something that we put in that's malfunctioning so we're gonna you know get it fixed and all that kind of stuff um and they're not gonna charge me for it, which is which is cool i think that that's uh that's some that's some good service there um the problem is that the part that they needed uh, they're not going to be getting it until saturday so <laughs> luckily i don't have anywhere to drive so <laughs> so i'm not going anywhere so yeah just hold on to it get it fixed do it the right way and that kind of stuff so so hopefully that gets uh, set up okay um and let's see the only the kind of random random topic thing that i found to talk about um did you by chance see that or hear about tom cruise freaking out on some employees about not wearing masks or something like that i don't know the full context and i didn't hear the whole bit but the bits that i heard he was he was a uh, pretty he, he seemed pretty angry about whatever they were doing and he was going off about like you know like like the industry is looking at us and seeing what we're doing to see whether this is going to work or not and you guys are not following the protocols that you're supposed to be following and all that kind of stuff and then he's like if i see you guys doing this again you're fired and all this kind of stuff and like i guess the the mixed reactions that i i was seeing from it i didn't i i didn't understand the one side of people saying like you know a person with the like you know wealth or like the higher status shouldn't be doing that to a subordinate or it shouldn't be like uh you know uh, uh there's probably a better word but like yelling at them for it and i'm just like i don't i i don't know i mean <laughs> it, it, and, you know, I don't have any military experience, but I, I kind of feel like that's exactly what would happen if, like, uh, 
a, a subordinate was like caught doing something they weren't supposed to do like he'd probably be getting chewed out by his sergeant or something like that so i mean like like yeah i guess it's like a civilian world it might be slightly different rules but i mean like like you're doing something that could potentially shut the entire job that you're working on down and like and there's no guarantee whether or not the job would start back up and you'd be costing a lot of other people their jobs and you could be you know um you know, for for the entertainment business you could be costing the studio money and you could be co it's it's so much stuff so i mean like i don't know whether or not it's okay for like a higher up wealthier person to be talking down to people but at the same time it's like there are real world like impacts of the 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 actions that they're taking or not taking in this regard so i mean i can't i can't say that the the reaction wasn't warranted but um i did agree with a lot of people that like we're saying that there was like there was at least some level of like catharsis about hearing it because it's it's like like you just like want to yell and scream at all these different people that you're seeing that aren't like doing what they need to do to just get this whole freaking pandemic under some level of control and they're just not doing simple things like staying distant wear a mask all this kind of stuff it's it and it's like there was a bit of catharsis with someone just like just full on letting all those emotions fly and it's like <laughs> cuz like you know at the end of the day what you know whether he's you know a star or not movie or not whatever like you know like the like covid doesn't care like he can still get sick he could still die from it and it's it's a serious thing it's like you're threatening my life and a lot of people around you by not doing the things you need to do so do it <laughs> and so so yeah i kind of it, like I said, it, 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 there's there was a level of catharsis that I could definitely agree with feeling by just hearing somebody like just essentially saying the same things that I'm feeling when I'm seeing people not do what they need to do in the, during this whole thing. Um, so yeah, so that that was just kind of the the random random news bit that caught my eye and and gave me something to talk about on here. So, but anyway, I'm gonna cut it short for now. I got some got some stuff to do. We have we have some company coming over tomorrow, and my car's been leaking oil into the garage, and the garage is the only place we can go. So I'm gonna be trying to them clean it up a little more uh, this this evening. So, so I'm gonna take care of that. But uh, and Merry Christmas. Um, and stay safe out there. Um, send your love to your families as whatever safe way you can, and and we'll uh, we'll catch you guys next week. Bye.